Today, we'll be talking about floating bladder warts. This is a really cool species of plant. This is called a floating bladder wart. And when I pull it up, it's blooming right now this time of the year. It only blooms for just a couple of weeks here in spring. Bladderworts may negatively impact and outcompete vegetation. It can become weedy and invasive in waterways and has escaped its natural habitat. Look at that, there's the roots on that entire plant. This is actually a carnivorous plant that eats little microscopic organisms out of the water. Floating bladderworts carry a tiny bladder sac to capture unsuspecting prey. Now how does it float on top of the water? Well, if I put it back down, look at that, it stands straight up. Because it has a special adaptation that allows it to be buoyant out here in the swamp. It's this little pinwheel right here. It's got a radial type symmetry on it, and that allows it to float on top of the water. Let's go over what we learned. What was the name of the plant mentioned in the video? A floating bladder wart. How does a floating bladder wart capture unsuspecting prey? It carries a tiny bladder sac. Where can bladder warts be found? In lakes, streams, and waterlogged soils. When do floating bladder wart plants typically bloom? It only blooms for a few weeks during the spring. How does this plant affect its surroundings? They may negatively impact and outcompete native vegetation.